Hey YouTube, Steven again, here uh, at the uh, bike shop where I work, uh, so I'm not smoking my pipe, otherwise I would uh, very quickly set off the fire alarm and probably the sprinkler, uh, so I don't want to do that. So, I'm here today to do a uh, VR to uh, Further 73, his 100 plus subs, uh, great job on the subs, uh, your, your Dagner uh, comparison uh, pipe video was, was fantastic. Uh, I've got a Dagner poker, and I absolutely love it. I don't have a Dunhill, so I can't compare it to that, but it smokes better than anything I've got. So I think your uh, your video that uh, kind of popped you over the 100 mark uh, was, was well-deserved. You put a lot of thought into that, and uh, it's very well done. So your other videos, I really like your, your uh, pace. I really like your kind of laid-back attitude, and, and I like your pipe chat. So you asked us a, a series of questions, and... Uh, I've touched on these a little bit in some of my other VRs, but uh, I'll try to change it up just a little bit. The uh, first question you said was, uh, what's our favorite uh, person, pipe memory, something like that. Uh, I'd mentioned before that I've got uh, one of my grandfather's pipes, and very early in my pipe smoking hobby, I uh, smoked that pipe while I was out uh, hunting for morel mushrooms something that uh, my grandfather, my father, and uncles, we used to do together. And uh, there's something magical about walking through the woods in the fall, hunting for morel mushrooms uh, while smoking your grandfather's pipe. I really, uh, I really enjoyed that. And, and then the second part of that question was how we got into pipe smoking. And, and uh, uh, I've told this one before, but uh, uh, I was waiting for a bus. As I, as I ride a bicycle everywhere, I was uh, waiting for a bus because I was going to a movie that I didn't want to ride to. And a fellow rode up on a, a, a fully loaded touring bike, and obviously we started chatting, and he uh, reached into his handlebar bag and pulled out a, a pouch and uh, broke out his cob and his tobacco and lit it up, and we sat there chatting, and, and I just thought that was about the, the coolest thing I'd seen, and uh, it just brought back a lot of memories, as I said, of my grandfather and things like that, and I just thought that might be something that I, I would like to try. And pretty shortly after that is, is when I went and... Uh, I bought an estate pipe, and then I bought a corn cob, and, and then uh, shortly after that, my sister gave me our grandfather's pipe, which I now have. So that's kind of how I how I got into uh, pipe smoking, and, and I really, really do enjoy this hobby. So the uh, second question you had uh, is, what's our most unusual pipe? And I don't, I only have about uh, 14 pipes, so I'm not uh, as, as uh, uh, deep in pipes as some of the folks on this community, but uh, I have kind of a, an interesting or unusual, or in my case, uh, I was so ignorant that I didn't know what I had. I've got a uh, old Medico, and uh, it's a nice looking pipe. It was an estate pipe, you know, $15, $20, something like that. And what I did not realize, I, it, you know, it looks like wood, it's, it seems like wood, but it's not wood. It uh, actually, Big Al the Crusher uh, made a comment on one of his videos, or, or I think he commented on someone else's videos about one of these, and I immediately went and grabbed mine and looked, and it's made out of a material called Brylon, and the bowl is very, very deep and very large, uh, but the walls are extremely thin, and what I noticed is this thing heats up so bad, you could you could puff on this every five minutes, and the thing is so hot, it's like a, it's like a, a car exhaust and I ended up smoking it kind of like a cigarette like this because I could not hold onto the bowl and then I realized well yes the Brylon is not uh, uh, it's not wood it's not a wood product so it's it's a really uh, it, it doesn't uh, hide you from the heat very well so anyway out of my ignorance I didn't know what I had uh, that's about my most unusual pipe it has now kind of been retired it just sits on the pipe shelf and uh, I can look at it, and that's about it. So, the uh, next question was uh, about what hobbies other than pipes and pipe smoking, tobaccos and things. And, and yeah, I've talked about this quite a bit, but uh, I love cycling. And you'd mentioned you were a bike racer at one point, uh, and you did some cycling. And, and yeah, I, uh, I really, truly love bike, bike uh, uh, racing and, and uh, commuting and touring and pretty much every aspect of cycling. I was a bike racer for a few years. I did some mountain bike racing. Uh, I wasn't real good at it, didn't have the time to train with young children at that point, and so I wasn't real good at it, but I enjoyed it and it was a lot of fun. I pretty much evolved into a full-time commuter, sold my car a year or so, more than a year ago now, and I'm a full-time commuter, and 
But the one thing I love the most is bicycle touring. I love to be self-supported, carrying all my camping gear, my food, uh, and just going out and, and riding. Uh, two years ago or so, I, I did 500 miles on the Katy Trail, which is down in Missouri. I rode uh, from Sedalia to Herman and back. And uh, it's a beautiful kind of a chip rock trail. It runs through Missouri there, and it was a beautiful fall time. It was late September, and uh, camp along the way, carry all my own gear, all my food and everything. And my pretty much the way I do it is, is I uh, will cook my own breakfast, eat my own breakfast, and then I'll go out usually on the trail, either to a cafe or a bar or whatever I can find for a burger or something on the, on the way during the day. And then in the evening, I make a nice dinner. And I really, really enjoy that. I've done that uh, quite a bit. I've done quite a few overnights and a few uh, week or so long tours, and I really would like to do more. I would like to go farther, uh, maybe you know, out into the world somewhere. Uh, so hopefully that will happen sometime. Uh, I am starting something that's, uh, I, in one of my videos you may notice, I, uh, I like to take my bike right out somewhere, a beautiful uh, park or a riverbed or, or something like that, and make my own coffee. I have a little camp stove and, and I like to cook my own coffee and, and just sit out there and smoke a pipe and drink a coffee and, and enjoy nature. And there's kind of a movement around this country and, I, and maybe other places too. It's called Coffee Outside. And it's kind of a club or a gathering. You put it out on Facebook or whatever your, your way of gathering folks. And, and here at the bike shop, we have a, a pretty good Facebook. So you basically say we're going to meet at this time early in the morning at this location. And you ride you know, out a ways. You find a, a beautiful spot. And everybody pulls out their uh, prospective uh, uh, coffee-making uh, materials. And you cook up your coffees. And uh, in my case, I'll probably have a pipe as well. And it's just a good community time. And uh, it, it's a good time for cyclists to get together. Uh, cyclists tend to love coffee, and uh, you know it's a good chance to meet some folks. So I get have that on my calendar to, to start that uh, probably in March or April when it starts to warm up a little bit. You see, I, I have my my hat and my my neck scarf on here uh, right now. It finally did drop down. We've got some snow, and it's been uh, pretty cold around here. So anyway, the uh, last question was. Uh, uh, what do I like best about the YouTube pipe community? And of all the things that I thought about, I think, I think the diversity and the ability to meet people from around the world. Uh, as, as we all know, as we start into this, it's kind of nerve-wracking the first time you start talking to a camera and making these videos, and and then the comments start rolling in, and you know, getting personal messages. A, a fellow personally mess messaged me. Uh, right off the bat from Sweden and that touched my heart he said some beautiful things and, and just welcomed me to this community uh, there's you know a half a dozen folks that every time I make a video they they always leave a nice comment and uh, people from around the world uh, in the UK all over the Netherlands it's just an amazing community as far as the diversity of people uh, old young uh, in the States and not and I, I truly love that. You know, obviously the uh, the ability to learn so much is a big part of it. The ability to share so much. Some of your videos, some of my videos, have been kind of personal in nature. And I feel like I can talk to you folks. I feel like you're sitting on smoking Grandpa Bones' porch, having a glass of whiskey and a pipe, and just talking uh, talking to good friends. So I really, really love that part of this community. So anyway. Uh, thanks for the uh, contest. Thanks for uh, uh, letting us be part of it and telling a little bit about ourselves. And congratulations on your subs. I'll bet you're way over 100 now, probably 150, 180 by now, and, and uh, well on your way to 200. Uh, like I said, you do a fine job. Keep up the good work, and, and uh, thanks a lot for allowing us to do this. We'll see you again.